It's a puncture! It's a puncture! Roglic is starting to rock and roll a little bit now on this climb. All right, Tali, come on then. This is for the Tour de France. Come on. I know it's hard. You just got to hang on. Superman Lopez wins the stage. Pogaccia almost got back, but he has found the Col de la Loz. A fearsome opponent. I was not in the delay, but... Je pense que je suis content que Brian il a, il a fait. Et après, on avait le choix de euh, sauver Brian ou moi et on a vite, euh, vite choisi. De Boucher est le seul rider à l'extérieur du délai aujourd'hui. Disappointment pour lui. No respite for the riders on stage 18 with another gruelling day of climbs. Five in total, including the hors category Plateau des Glières. In fact, today's stage features the most positive elevation gain on this year's tour, some four and a half thousand metres, with Mont Blanc providing a stunning backdrop at the start. Around 30 riders got into an early breakaway before the intermediate sprint, which came within the first 15 kilometres. Bennett looks good. Sam Bennett yet again takes the maximum points. Trentin beats Sagan. Sagan is in third place. Job done for Sam Bennett, who soon sat up the leading group whittled down to around 20 on the Cormet de Roseland. Four riders from Ineos Grenadiers in there, Carapace again, as well as Castro Viejo, Van Baal and Kwiatkowski. Stage winner Mark Hershey was also along for the ride, battling with Carapace for King of the Mountains points. Big move here, Hershey's not going to let Carapace have it as they sprint for the line. A great contest over the top. Mark Hershey takes the maximum points on the Cormet de Roseland. Here she and Carapaz kicking on in the descent, and they were soon joined by three other riders, Kwiatkowski, Nicola Ede, and Peo Bilbao. I will try to go in a break. I think it's also like the last chance. Yeah, I hope the legs are still good. Here she is crashed trying to catch Richard Carapaz. Here she, whoa, that was a big crash. That crash ending here, she's hopes of the polka dot jersey and another stage win. And Bilbao was unable to stay with Kwiatkowski and Carapace on the Col des Bilbao is 10 in Carapace and Kwiatkowski all alone as they've reached the Plateau de Glière. The duo is set to secure the stage win and the polka dot jersey for Ineos Grenadiers. Further back, a few GC favourites were distanced, Iran, Valverde and Yates, while Richie Porte suffered an untimely puncture. What a wonderful moment for Ineos Grenadiers, Kwiatkowski and Karapaz. And they're going to cross the line. Who's going to take it? The first rider across the line for me was Mikhail Kwiatkowski. Can't describe how grateful I am to, to the whole team and as well to, to Richard. You know, I'm getting some nice moments in cycling, but that was something I just I will, I will never forget that. What a moment for Kwiatkowski, a faithful lieutenant for so many years. He finally has his first individual stage win on a Grand Tour. Primoz Roglic stayed out of trouble today, so he'll spend his 10th day in the yellow jersey tomorrow. Still leading today, Bogacar by 57 seconds. Their leader, Egan Bernal, may have gone home, but this was a timely reminder of what the Ineos Grenadiers can do.